Right, hello, welcome back to the channel. I do apologise for the lack of videos recently. This is due purely to the fact um, that nothing's happened. Um, and that's going to be the topic of this video. Uh, that nothing has happened. So, um, I'm aware right now we're going through a little bit of a uh, doomsday scenario, I guess. Um, it's quite unfortunate with this uh, coronavirus COVID-19 pandemic. Um, but that's only really taken off, I'd say, the last week. Um, so, that, I'm not I'm not having that as an excuse. Sorry, I'm not having that as an excuse at all for this. So anyway, this is the garage that uh, we've paid to be finished. Um, and hasn't been worked on for the past three and a half weeks. So, basically, they came... Um, they got cracking straight away, working weekends, whatever, it was fantastic, progress was flying. And then they asked for money. And then they asked for more money. And then once they got all the money they wanted, they haven't come back. Um, other than, well, I'm not going to say they haven't come back because that sort of, sort of insinuates that they've took the money and ran. I'm not going to say that. But what they have done is since they've got the money, they just haven't been bothered at all so basically um they stopped coming the quality of the work dipped completely um i don't I'm, 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 a, I'm a bit lost for words still about it um we've got to now ring the builder every single day to check if he's gonna come because if we don't he won't come um we've threatened to get trading standards involved because he wouldn't speak to us for a week when we threatened him he came to the front door um at seven o'clock in the morning causing a, a scene um and basically was up for a fight so i really don't know what's going through these people's minds but we've given them a lot of money and that he seems to think that that's a his god-given right to have that money without finishing a job and uh that's that's it so I really wanted to have a lie out up in here by now, especially with what's going on um, throughout the world. There's a high chance that we're going to be told to stay in our houses um, for a lot of time. Um, even in my job, we're being told to sit spare now on the railways at home um, because we only live um, X amount of distance from our depots because they just don't want people in work um, in, in the mess rooms at work now because it's just too much of a risk. So. Um, I'm just really upset so uh, these are the doors that was fitted to the garage um, look great from here but when you come up and you have a closer look um, you'll notice they're actually about 15 years old and they are second hand so they've already had this applied to them in the inside they're, they're looking awfully rough this is the inside that you're seeing here um, I can't even lift that. But uh might be able to get through here. Yeah, if you can just see the quality there of the workmanship. Um along with uh, the rest of the stuff that's just been lashed. That tarpaulin was put on the roof uh, and left to blow away for months, weeks, whatever. Um we got that lantern fitted in the roof, that's leaked. We got the got harassed the builder to come round and fix it he fixed it it was still leaking so he came back again fixed it and it was still leaking and it's still leaking now he doesn't want to know anymore plasterboard and insulation has been left on the grass um, to get saturated for about a month no interest there either the bricks that they've used on the side of the house are all second hand they're not brand new bricks he said this was to blend in with the original bricking on the garage but we all know it's to save costs and uh, since then nothing I mean they've uh, skimmed the floor um, which is great the layout but because it was leaking the water's just damaged it in all four corners and we had that shovel there just to uh, keep an eye on things really damaged that's been there just to keep an eye on things when it rains to see if it collects water and it does 
it does collect water and the bucket has done too um so it, it's it's really really disappointing this has happened but i feel like we've been robbed i feel like because we're we're a decent enough hard working family and i feel like the builders have come took advantage of it and uh yeah see you later job and it's looking increasingly unlikely that this will never be finished um, which is so annoying because I had a layout in here it didn't work great but I had a layout in here I had something to keep me going to keep me busy and they've just took the money run and ran even and we're just well I'm just left anyway with with nothing I've got no layout I've got no cool area to chill no TV on the wall I've just got a half finished leaking box with crap left all around the house and the back room as well which I'm not going to film is full of all stuff that has to be temporary put on there that's been temporarily put on there sorry due to the fact this is getting done and now the back room looks like a bomb site as well because there's nowhere else to put stuff while this is getting done and um, I'm lost for words what we can do there's nothing we can do really it's just a sad fact that I feel anyway that we've been robbed and uh, taken for a complete ride. Um, we've easily paid well above odds for this job as well. Um, I'm not going to say how much, but easily. Um, it's a scary amount. You're talking brand new car money for this job. Um, which makes it more annoying because there's... just it makes it more annoying because the garage has already been built um the, it's not like i've asked them to build a three-story mansion in the back garden it's a garage that's been built it's been here for years and all we've asked is to strengthen uh, to straighten the floor make it a bit warmer at a and he's made a mess of it. I've just noticed now as well, we're missing some of the support beams that we've got underneath them two window like just there. That's the sort of quality manship. And um, we're talking the last piece of work done in here now, three weeks. Um, and it's looking increasingly like he isn't going to come back at all. Um, so that's why I've not made any more updates, made any more layout content. It's sad state of affairs really i know it's really insignificant with what's going on in the world now but you know if, if i'm gonna if we are we're all gonna be in the same boat where we're gonna have to spend a lot more time at home and uh i guess that's just life i guess so um i don't know if i'll be doing another video on my model right away on youtube to be fair because i don't think it's gonna happen anymore um i don't know what the process at the moment with the courts because with what's going on at the moment, I think the courts won't want to know either until this is all blown over at least. So it's looking increasingly like he's just got the money won and we'll never see him again. So that's the end of um, progress on the garage and for my future lie out for the time being. Uh, in fact, for probably forever. But if you do, uh, if I do, sorry, happen to have any more updates, then of course I'll uh, make them if they happen. But I wouldn't be holding my breath either way. So, uh, for those who've watched the channel over the past... God knows how long, 10 years, whatever it is. Um, thank you for your support. Um, and that's the end, really, of, of this. So, um, stay tuned, because there's still other content coming. And, of course, I'll endeavour to do something with this. But it, it's looking increasingly unlikely. Anyway, thanks for watching. Cheers. Bye.